Okay, you guys, this is crazy. I just, I had to film this real quick. I was just blow drying my hair and I realized my, like, oh my God, <laughs> what is this? I'm literally growing a second head. What on earth? The, oh, oh. <laughs> it's quite disgusting. But yeah, this is my original lymph, if you want to say so. It's the one that made me notice that something's wrong and I don't know. Yeah, you can you can definitely tell that something is wrong. <laughs> Maybe it knows that we want to start chemo today. It's trying to act up once and for all. Because you're gonna get killed today. Um, hi! I'm done with round one of chemo. Wow! That wasn't too bad. It was actually... It was okay. It didn't really hurt. I'm not feeling sick. Which I'm <laughs> so glad. I was so scared. I was gonna throw up and everything. But no, it was really okay. And I'm just on my way home now. I'm gonna enjoy a lazy afternoon. And I will update you guys when I'm home because this is weird, vlogging in public, I hate it. Okay, um, this is so weird, I hate it. But I just went to pick up my meds, got something against nausea, or for nausea. I hope I don't need it. Up until now I'm fine, I'm not feeling any side effects, but will keep an eye on myself and uh, I, I just really hope I'm fine okay so quick update it's been a few hours now anyway I've been keeping track of my symptoms and I had to take the pill for nausea because I was feeling really yucky like ugh. and I hate feeling nauseous I hate having a tummy ache and it's it's the worst really so yeah apart from that I'm doing okay but I just re I just saw that I have a like not a rash but kind of blemishes or some some red spots on my tummy which is really weird I don't know if I should call the hospital about this because they said if I notice anything I can always call I think I'm just gonna wait a few more hours maybe till tomorrow I don't know if that's like really stupid it probably is really but yeah it's looking really weird like wait maybe I can show you trigger warning this is probably gross cancer is really gross so can you see that actually wait focus yeah, I think you can. It's like, it's really weird. I don't know, why? Why is that? <laughs> why? Apart from that, I'm fine. But it's only day one. And they said that for the first three, three, fleur, 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 <laughs> three-ish days, um, I'm probably gonna be fine because of the, what was it, cortisone? Co I never know, is it cortisone or cort Cortisol, I don't know, really, that thing, um, because that gives me kind of a boost, and then in a few days it's probably gonna go downhill. So I'm not very excited for that. That's the situation right now. So, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I don't wanna jinx it. I probably just jinxed it. Damn it. You guys. I'm at work right now, so I have to be quick. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you, it's been 24 hours now since chemo, and I'm dying. I'm so, ugh. I feel so sick, it's gross. Like, my, my tummy hurts so much. I feel so nauseous. And I've already taken two pills, so I really don't know what to do. But I have to work, so. I don't really have time to complain. I hope I get better. 
quick little update it is now day four of chemo or after chemo really it is sunday and i am starting to notice some bigger side effects which is really annoying i was hoping they wouldn't cure but of course they do it's chemo what was i thinking really so yeah first of all i'm starting to feel like really exhausted and tired all the time which is annoying because I do have stuff to do. I still work. I don't go to uni anymore, but I work and I need to work. So that is a bit annoying. Second of all, I have one um, kind of visible tumor, the one that they actually cut apart. Oh my God. Yeah, you can definitely see it. You see that? Like here, that's a tumor. <laughs> And that is um, coming back bigger than ever, really. Ugh. And it hurts a lot and it is really annoying. And lastly, and probably most annoyingly, my gums um, and in general the whole inner part of my mouth is hurting so much. When I brush my teeth, my gums start to bleed and it hurts and the inside of my cheeks are all like open and gross and it really hurts and it is now what time is it half past two in the afternoon and i haven't eaten anything yet because i'm so scared because it really hurts it like constantly burns and my tongue is feeling swollen and it's just not nice really hope it's just temporary and then it goes away in a few days because my nausea is a lot better i'm not feeling nauseous anymore now i have all these other things to deal with great so yeah just thought i would update you guys real quick and yeah let's just really fingers crossed that it gets better because i want to eat What a beautiful day for chemo. I am headed to my second chemotherapy appointment. Um, it's gonna be okay, really. The first one wasn't too bad. This one is gonna be okay as well. My hair is falling out, but I'm actually fine. I don't really have any of the side effects. I'm not like sick or anything. There's someone coming, so we're gonna walk away. Yeah, I'm actually doing all right. So I'm not too scared. It's just, it takes forever. I have a book with me, so let's hope this goes well. Hi guys, as the smart ones of you might have already seen, I am wearing different clothes than I did in my last clip, which means um, the days have passed and I'm still at the hospital, or again, I'm not, I haven't been here for all that time, but I'm back. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> so chemo went a bit rocky because my white blood cells are basically inexistent which is really shitty because that means my immune system is kind of shutting down and i don't like that and the doctors don't like that either so they were thinking about not doing chemo when i was here on wednesday it is now friday but they did it anyway and now i got some shots that i need to give myself which should ensure that my white blood cells go up again so fingers crossed that works um, apart from that i'm very tired and feeling very sick all the time so the usual really yeah so i need to give myself some shots over the next few days but that's okay i've done that before i will be back here on monday and wednesday for like tests on my blood levels see if it went up again so yeah fingers crossed it works but you'll hear from me <sighs> ooh birds 
Hi! <laughs> Welcome to the last part of this video that is probably quite long by now, I apologise. But it's been a long journey. This video has been a documentation of my first round of chemo and I am done with my first round. I am done with round one of chemo. This is two. Round one of chemo. And uh, it's been a roller coaster. There's been ups where I've been feeling pretty well, not had any side effects. And then there were days where I just wanted to lay in bed and throw up all day. I didn't throw up, by the way. Not once, which is very nice. Round one of chemo is done. Um, I have survived so far and I have already started with round two of chemo, so it's kind of a blur. I'm trying to remember what was round one and what is round two. Anyway, so chemo was a little scary, honestly. I imagined it to be a lot worse than it was. It's stressful, as in you, you have to sit there for quite a while every time and um, it just, for me and my nerves it wasn't the best, but it, it was okay. I'm very glad that I have my port, which is healing very lovely. Um, my cyborg port. <laughs> that was very American. So if you have to start chemo soon, I strongly advise you get a port. Don't do it like they can sting your veins every time but mm, I would not do that. A port it doesn't hurt, it, you look cool, you become a cyborg. It, it's just it's basically amazing really. Yeah side effects you have seen that throughout the video. I was feeling quite nauseous mostly um, and tired. Um, my mouth was acting up at some point but only once for, and I'm so so grateful for that it didn't return uh, now I'm very happy because that was hella annoying so yeah mostly I was just feeling nauseous and tired but it was all okay like I could still function I could still work I could still meet with friends and do all the things that I usually do so I have talked to you about how my white blood cells were kind of dead and I had to give myself shots for two or no, for three days. That went well. I don't have any problems with needles and blood and all that, which is very helpful throughout this whole cancer journey, really, because there is not that much blood, but there are a lot of needles. So it's kind of helpful that I'm not scared of that. Yeah, so I gave myself these shots and then got back to the lab and they measured my white blood cells um, and they went up like rocket high. I'm supposed to have a level of like 1.0, somewhere around that is good for chemo, like then you have enough. When I started chemo or before chemo my white blood cells were at 13. Wait, let me actually check that. I don't want to I don't want to tell you any lies. Let me go check. I have like a cool piece of paper. Yeah. Here. This is the piece of paper I was talking about. It's in German, so you can't really read it. It is like a th um, therapy control card thingy where they en enter all my blood levels that they measure once a week. So I can check how I'm doing blood wise. So okay, so before I started chemo I was at 17, which is really high, which is why they thought it would be okay for me to do chemo without any anything that supports my white blood cells because I had so many of them. So then within a week it dropped to 3.2, which is still a lot. You need one and I still have three, but then yeah, it dropped to 0.4 and the absolute minimum you need is 0.8 so they were kind of contemplating not doing chemo then and kind of waiting for a few days but 
it would take longer than a few days for my white blood cells to go back up to 0.8 by themselves so this is why I had to give myself shots. These shots then made my white blood cells climb back up to 11 which is really good but that was measured shortly after I gave myself these shots so we waited a few more days to see how it would kind of level and it dropped to 1.6 which is still good it's okay and for my last chemo they were at 2 2.01 to be exact which is good it is more than enough to start chemo it's just that we know that for when I did chemo for the first time they dropped from 17 to 3 so now to start with 2 they're gonna drop like really 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 low and I like to drop low <laughs> oh my god uh, but not for my white blood cells so I have to give myself shots again but yeah that's just it's what happens chemo is shit for your body your body is so busy fighting that yeah my bone marrow just couldn't keep up anymore but yeah it went back up again I did not get sick I have to give myself shots again which is okay I don't have any problem with shots or giving myself shots which is surprising I thought I would hate that but I really don't it's okay my white blood cells are doing okay -ish at the moment which is good and I hope it stays like that so yeah I would say that is it I will see you guys hopefully on my next video Tune in. I am very sorry. I will see you guys again. Um, and as always, stay positive, love everyone you meet, and be happy. The world is beautiful. I'm gonna go outside and enjoy the sun now with a shit ton of sunscreen on because chemo has fucked up my skin. It burns. Where is the button? There is the button.